Thank you for inviting me uh, here today to speak in this conference. Uh, um, as, it, uh, as I've uh, introduced, my name is Sina Kuzauj Simonson. I'm from Latvia. Uh, and I was asked today to speak about museums and creative industries. Uh, but before that, I need to say some uh, words about the organization which I'm representing here. And this organization is uh, Think Tank Creative Museum. Uh, we are an uh, independent think tank uh, working in uh, Latvia. And uh, actually, we are serving uh, now already for four years uh, as a platform for sharing knowledge, experience, innovation, and creativity. And uh, actually, we are, uh, work uh, a lot on uh, Topic museums and creative uh, industries, and uh, we are uh, lobbying or advocating uh, cross sectoral uh, co uh, collaboration uh, and partnerships uh, in the museum sector and uh, uh, within the museum sector and outside the museum sector. So, uh, and uh, as I said before, I was uh, asked to speak about uh, museums and creative industries and what it uh, all about. Uh, so, and um, well, yes, uh, Think Tank was uh, um, started uh, work, with, work with this theme uh, four years ago, but uh, since 2014 uh, we are coordinating uh, the working group Museums and Creative Industries uh, within NEMO. Uh, uh, I presume that you all know a uh, network of uh, museum uh, organizations uh, and um, some of you are even partners in this uh, organization. And so uh, two years we are now coordinating uh, this working group. And we have uh, members from, uh, in this working group from uh, Iceland, Romania, uh, Poland, Latvia. And this year we have uh, new partners from Sweden and, um, Sweden and Denmark, uh, Denmark, Denmark as well. So, uh, <coughs> before, uh, but before we uh, started to to do this in European scale uh, for uh, again for two years uh, we mapped uh, cooperation between museums and creative industries in uh, in Latvia. Uh, we worked with uh, museums, we worked with creative industries and actually we asked them uh, three simple questions. Uh, why you need to uh, work with museums if you are creative industry sector or why you need to work with, uh, uh, with uh, creative industries if you are museum uh, representative. Second question was uh, what is added value if you, uh, values if you are working with museums or creative industries and what is challenging. Uh, afterwards I will uh, show you some examples what uh, we uh, got as responses but yes, uh, we, uh, we are trying to monitor the uh, situation uh, still in, in Latvia and in uh, those all mentioned countries as well. Uh, in uh, 2015, we began to develop a uh, methodology for recording added value because you can, uh, you can uh, map practices, you can uh, speak about uh, good examples, but you need methodology to, to approve this uh, added value, the synergies, what is happening, why, why this uh, synergy is happening, and uh, actually what, uh, what are the benefits of, of such cooperation. But, uh, because if you are um, advocating for, uh, for museum and creative industries, uh, the question uh, uh, always uh, came out, what it, what it mean, why we need to cooperate uh, between uh, these two sectors? So, and uh, our focus is on museums and creative economies as an undervalued resource for de developing products and services with high added value. And I will, uh, came to, uh, I will come to this uh, later again, why, why we are thinking that uh, this is undervalued resource. Uh, and um, our aim is uh, actually argue in uh, support of museums as, in, as an important support base for the creative industries. And sometimes uh, museums can be creative industries by themselves. And actually, it's not so important, uh, either you are saying that your museum is only support base for creatives, or you are saying uh, that uh, sometimes, and some museums, for example, in Latvia, we have some good examples where museums are creative industries by themselves, where they 
where museums are part of a wider regeneration plan for all uh, part of city or all part of uh, region. So, and um, we are, uh, and actually you could ask uh, the question, what it's all about? It's a question uh, which uh, uh, was asked uh, in, at the beginning. Uh, and we are saying that cooperation between museums and creative industries is the basis of communication work of a modern museum. And we, could, uh, we can put it even simple, more simple in a more simple way. And uh, this is an attempt to talk to the audience in a, a language it understands. And uh, if, I, if we are, if we are um, thinking about modern museum, 21st century museum, then we could argue that uh, Cooperation between museums and creative industries is the same as you are speaking with your audiences in, in the 21st century language. And it, uh, it, it, uh, this could be cooperation uh, in a field of mobile application, digitalization, but it could be cooperations which mean better, better uh, museum services, better exhibitions, work with designers, work with fashion designers, and so on and so on. So it is uh, like uh, speaking in understandable language with audiences. Uh, we have challenges as well, or you could uh, say uh, this could be aims as well for our uh, working group and for our think tank. And these challenges would be, I, I will name uh, four challenges. To raise the profile of museums in the context of creative industries, to learn more about cooperations between museums and creative industries, what is, uh, what is happening, where and how, to prove the benefits of cooperation among cultural and creative industries for the policy makers, and uh, as I said, we are working group with NEMO, so we are producing uh, these policy recommendations for NEMO as well. It's not only about national uh, research, it's about, uh, about uh, European-wide research and uh, European-wide policy uh, advices for policy makers. Uh, and the first one is to st stimulate future cooperation among museums and creative economies. Uh, and it's, uh, it's actually one of the uh, most important uh, challenges, how we can develop these uh, cooperations, how we can advocate this cooperation, and, and again, what uh, would be added value of, of these uh, cooperations. Uh, and uh, therefore, in 2015, we, uh, we produced report, Museums and Creative Industries, uh, and we worked on a test methodology. Uh, we tested this methodology at first in Latvia. Uh, we produced this report, and then this year, uh, we, uh, we are doing uh, this uh, methodology uh, in uh, Romania, Poland, and Iceland. What we did was, uh, with this, uh, is this report consists of two parts. Uh, one part is uh, like more philosophical one, where we uh, uh, worked with museums and creative industries. We asked their, opi their opinions. We, we spoke with them. We collected these case studies, and um, there are only some examples of opinions from creative industries. Uh, I presume that I need not to, to say uh, to museum uh, professional audience what museums. Uh, could say about cooperation with creative industries. Uh, therefore, I will present only opinion uh, from creative industry part. part. So, one of the examples, again from Latvia, fashion designer uh, create, uh, created a collection uh, which was inspired by museum uh, artwork collection. So, and what she said, why, she, why this is important to work with the museum. So, uh, at first she said that uh, being approached by a museum, uh, it was a great honor for her. Uh, and, um, but more important what she said, it is a fantastic idea to combine artwork from the last century with a contemporary take on it, the surviving and exhibiting in, uh, it on a larger scale. And it's why, why she think uh, it's important to cooperate with museum. Uh, about added value, it is a modern and goal of a museum to cooperate with contemporary designers to create accessible design products. And about challenges, um, uh, actually it's, it's again a good one. It's uh, to give the collection second life by, by reviving it and promoting museum values. And actually this uh, collection was, uh, was um, uh, 
very, uh, very great, uh, very uh, good received in, in Latvian uh, society, and then this collection was um, uh, brought by another museum in Germany for their collection. So you can see how how new uh, new uh, collections versus added values from the museum collection can uh, again uh, uh, live not only one life but. Um, to, to, to do uh, the invest in, uh, in, a, in a succession. So, uh, another one example is about porcelain plate, and it was again inspired by museum collection, by collection from a design museum, and um, uh, about added values. So what, uh, what the artist said about added values. Uh, she studied uh, studied uh, museum collection and then she created a, a contemporary porcelain plate which looks equally good on a wall or a dinner table. About um, challenges, um, it's actually my favorite challenge uh, set by uh, creative industries. Museums are like photo albums of the entire country which can be opened, examined and supplemented from time to time. Uh, and third example is from design company. Uh, this design company, uh, during uh, last two years, uh, did a lot of uh, exhibition uh, work in, in Latvia. And what they are saying uh, about uh, these challenges and added values. There are some examples, Motor Museum, previous one was from a uh, design uh, exhibition some uh, souvenir work for the same uh, motor museum collection. And what they are saying? Museum is a three-dimensional three story, the examination of which requires maximum participation from the visitors. Our job as design company's job is to create a room that tells a story. About added values, interdisciplinary teams consisting of professionals from various fields who work together to create an outstanding result, an, ex uh, an exhibition in a museum. And challenges, and here you can see even uh, stereotypes uh, which come out from uh, such, uh, such uh, discussions with creative industries. It's not only about uh, challenges, it's not, challenge is not only excellent exhibition, but challenge could be uh, teamwork, actually, where museum people and creative industry uh, people need to break stereotypes. Who is doing what and uh, about, about expertises and this teamwork. And uh, one more stereotype is that design today is so much more than a beautiful attire. So, and now we are, and then the se second part of our report was uh, the uh, test methodology. And uh, we uh, sent uh, 47 questionnaires asking uh, 47 museums uh, to, uh, to um, share their opinions on, muse uh, on how they work uh, on this topic, museums in creative industries. We got responses, then we, uh, we uh, went uh, even more further. We asked some museum managers to uh, answer to, uh, to uh, more in deep uh, questionnaires, and then we uh, compared these uh, interviews with what they are stating in their uh, policy documentation, which, uh, which you can find, in, uh, for example, in, in their website. And then uh, very uh, nice and very strange sometimes things uh, came out because it's not always the same what we are stating in policy documents which is uh, publicly available and what we are saying when, for example, economists or sociologists uh, came, uh, come to you and ask this question in person. So, and then uh, we, we have conclusions from this, but uh, here I will show you only of five recommendations uh, which came out of of this uh, test methodology uh, because I think that uh, we can apply these methodologies to almost to all countries in Europe and maybe even wider uh, when we are speaking about uh, challenges or pr problematic, problematic areas uh, in this field uh, when we are speaking about museums and creative industries. So, um, recommendations. Uh, first one, information. Uh, because uh, museums are not aware of what creatives are doing, and creative industries sometimes don't know what museum collections is about, what, what we actually 
what is a museum and what they can use for their creative economies from the museum collections. Uh, second one is uh, about openness, uh, that uh, one, of, uh, uh, one of the biggest problems is that museums are still traditional, still conservative institutions, uh, and uh, when uh, museums are approached by creative uh, industry people, they are sometimes are saying that they are not willing to cooperate. So, again, openness. Then, um, third one was that we need a little bit more pressure for, from our governing organizations because, you know, we, we can say that we would like to work with creative industries, but it's, uh, it's again only uh, one or two museums who would like to say so. But uh, if we have a, even, even a, only a declarative statement from, uh, for example, from cultural ministry or other ministries who are governing museums, that this is important topic that it could be of great uh, benefit for the uh, for these corporations and maybe uh, we could uh, even think about uh, some finance uh, finance uh, support uh, for these corporations it could be even better networking would uh, be of greater uh, importance that uh, people from both sides need to come uh, together and to discuss not only uh, good results of cooperation, but uh, failures as well, problematic issues as well, copyright issues, attitude issues, and so on. That networking would be of, uh, again, of great importance. And uh, fifth, uh, and again, most important one for the museum sector is digitalization. Because, you know, when, when where uh, um, uh, creative industry people can find your collection, but because it's all about collections, it's all about how they can reuse our collections and how they can uh, give them added value. So digitalization uh, and uh, good, uh, good quality um, images is very important uh, and it came out from, uh, from this uh, research as well. Then, uh, as I said before, uh, this year we applied this uh, methodology further to three countries, to Iceland, Romania and Poland, uh, because we, uh, we would like to have a broader perspective of uh, what is, what it, how it's happening in, uh, in uh, European countries. Uh, and um, what we uh, can say as conclusions is that we are witnessing more and more good and outstanding examples of what, what, what is happening uh, in uh, the museum uh, field. But um, uh, we uh, knew this already, but uh, this re research uh, proved what was expected that there are still a lack of awareness of potential as regards museums working closely with the creative sector. Uh, we send, uh, this year we sent questionnaires to uh, uh, 20 European uh, countries uh, asking to fill the same questionnaire and the response rate was very low. And then it was came out that museums, museum organizations like museums associations or cultural ministries uh, uh, so far have not considered this type of information, information about cooperation between uh, museums and creative industries as something they need to pay much attention. And you remember recommendation about pressure from management organizations. It's not even about pressure, it's about collecting the data, what is happening already in the museum field, for example. And yes, and in this research we saw that this is a problematic issue, so we need to, this, uh, we need to solve this out. And um, again, maybe it's due to uh, one more stereotype that when we are speaking about creative industries, we are speaking, uh, speaking about creative economies. And therefore, museums are afraid that this could be about commercialization. And therefore, it's not on their agenda at the moment because sometimes we misunderstand these topics. As if museums and creative industries, not always about profit, it's about added values and synergies, and it's not about commercialization. But this came out from, uh, from this research, so we need to work with this again further. And um, 
Yeah, after testing this and after um, after our researchers analyzed this, we said that yes, we will continue this methodology, but we need more uh, case studies, more good examples to be able to show uh, nice pictures, uh, nice examples of what is happening uh, and we need to promote this further. So, yes, and practically this would result in a European handbook uh, during uh, next uh, year and year after. Uh, so, uh, during, uh, I think during next two years we will be able to produce this handbook uh, with European uh, examples of what is happening in Europe. And um, it's, uh, sorry, very small letters, but it's uh, my last slide. And when we speak about added values uh, in the context of economy, uh, museums and creative industries keep revealing new horizons for cooperation. And uh, benefits from this cooperation will not come uh, to museums and creatives immediately. So we need to be uh, uh, more patient when we are speaking about this cooperation. As I said before, it's not only about economical be benefit, but uh, working uh, very closely uh, together with creative industries, with professional designers, with, uh, with information technology experts, with translators, with, uh, and again with museum professionals, when we are work all together, we are creating best and most uh, memorable museum experience. And if museums will be more popular, and if museums will become more popular, and if museums will start to speak with their audience in 21st century uh, language, then their economical return also increases. So, thank you.